What's going on, DJ Talk family? And how you all doing this evening? Or better yet, how you doing tonight? First of all, welcome to the 61st episode of DJ Talk. Now, before we get started, I would like to send a shout out to everyone that is going to have a successful month of November. And not only that, but we're in the first Sunday of November. And even though October for us was a blessed month, even though we had some ups and downs, but at the end, we would always find a way to pull through and overcome a lot of adversities that's placed in our way. So, like I said before, November is going to be a successful month. No matter what happens, no matter what you go through, all I can say is hopefully you guys win. Nothing but, nothing but success for all you and all of you from D, of DJ Talk family because we are family. We're going to pull through together and we're all going to win. So let's cheer for one another. Let's keep the momentum going because right now we as in all of us, have the advantage. So, let's take advantage of our opportunities that come our way. Now, before we begin to this about the channel, I would like to thank you guys for the 500 subscribers. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I know I said it already. I'll repeat it again. I'm just so grateful and humble about the subscription. So, if you guys are new to this channel... Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and keep subscribing, though, because it's going to be interesting about what more topics I'm going to come up with and more content I'm going to come up with. But like I said, keep make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on the bell for notifications, and many more to come. And like I said, there's a lot of interesting stuff that is going to be posted on, on my channel, so keep, keep in touch, stay in touch with that. It's going to be a lot of stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. So without with that being said, without any further ado, let's get right to it. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about this topic right here is one of my most favorite part that I want to talk about. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to go from being a problem and being in becoming part of the solution. So the question is, what does it mean to be part of the solution? You know what? That's a very interesting question right there. Very interesting. It means not only present a problem, but then taking the next step and identifying how to fix it. To be part of the solution, we need to be clear. Significant. Accurate and complete. And before we get started with the steps, I would like to take this time to tell you all that tell you something, what I'm about to say. I know I'll say it at the end of the episode, but I want to say it right now. If you want everything to be solved in a way that you want it to be solved, there's a few things I would say. You have to stay out of the problem and become part of the solution. That's it. There are multiple steps on how to become, to be part of the solution. And we are going to start it off with the first one, identify the problem. Big things we need to do is identify the problem, the root of the problem. There's no better there's no better starting point than defining what it needs to be fixed. It means that taking the time and thoroughly review the situation, separating the symptoms from the cause and making a diagnosis is about understanding what hurts and why. This takes time and might mean doing a bit of research to reveal the underlying issue behind the problem. 
This is the first step in your journey to achieving social impact. At the early at this early age stage, you should have an idea about a social or environmental problem that you want to solve, but but you don't yet need to know much about the problem. Before you begin to address a social problem, you need to understand your own point of view. In this step, you will discover, you will uncover why you want to address this particular problem and write a short description of the problem to help you focus on your work. Number two, determine the root causes. Once you have identified what your problem is, you need to figure out why it is. And the question here is, what is behind it? What is causing it? Can it be qualified? Can it be a quantified or qualified? What is going on at the core level? Sometimes we like to find the root of the problem here. That's what we are looking for. Because as you work towards solving your problem, you are going to want to find a solution that deals the causes and not just the symptoms. So again, take this time to investigate the situation. Am I right or wrong? Here. So, that's what we have to do. Collect information, analyze your findings, and redefine your diagnosis. The simplest way to think about root cause, analyze, analyze is to imagine a common problem you may experience in life. Like if your home internet suddenly stopped functioning, just an example right here, if you know what I mean. If this is accurate, you could drive a, to a coffee shop and use their internet instead. Like, for example, Starbucks. You know what I mean. Starbucks or Panera, whatever. But that solution would not only fail to take a, any corrective action, but would also ignore the underlying causes of your problem, a better solution would be to call your internet provider and ask them to find the real cause of the problem. Number three, find multiple solutions. Being a good problem solver means thinking innovatively, and that means thinking outside the box. And I'll repeat it again for the people out in the back. Thinking innovatively, and that means being a good so problem solver means thinking innovatively, and that means thinking outside the box. Do not settle for the first solution you find. I guess you heard this old expression. I guess this is an idiom that I've about to say, and this idiom is called push the boat out. This is going to be our first idiom of this podcast, DJ Talk. Find as many alternative solutions as you can. And then find some more. This might mean looking for solutions in an unusual place or from unusual sources. Talking to a different set of colleagues, keeping an open mind or being receptive to the interchange of ideas or perception, perceptions, perceptives, perspectives, beg your pardon. Whatever it takes, you have a set of alternative solutions. Subject them all to analysis. Analyze the problem in every step. 
to solving a problem. It's analyzing the problem. It helps you understand the nature of the problem and find the possible ways out. Well, we're number four right now. Analyze the problem. Developing some creative problem solving questions in the stage. Why? Such as, why is it a problem? Why is it required to solve the problem? How to find the solution? What barriers and opportunity lies within the problem? What effect it will cause if the problem isn't resolved, etc. Develop these questions and assign these answers to them. At the end, you'll find a clear picture of the whole situation. This will help you prepare your strategy to solve the problem. Number five. Find the right problems to solve. Not many problem-solving processes include these steps. Yet, it is an absolute crucial. Think how often we spend, well, most of us spend time and resource on problems which we don't necessarily demand such attention here, if you know what I mean. Sometimes we need to ask ourselves, is this... Is it the right problem to solve? This is also one of the most important strategy in our problem-solving technique here, if you know what I mean. Why you, why you ask? Why? Well, the thing is here, we often, our approach to solving, to problem solving is reactive. We wait for the problem to arise. So firstly, in our problem solving process, we advocate taking a proactive approach. Go and find problems to solve. Important and valuable problems. The real starting point then for any problem solving is to find the right problem to solve. You see, there's so many quotes that talk about finding the right problems to solve. And it says, number one, Duke Ellington says here, a problem is a chance for you to do your best. Number two, Albert Einstein we can not solve our problem with the same level of thinking, then create them. Number three, John Dewey says, a problem well stated is a problem half solved. Number four, Roger Lewin says, too often we give our children's answer to remember rather than our problems to solve. Number five, Betty Williams says here, there's no use talking about the problems unless you talk about the solution. Number six, Al Alice Huffman says, every problem has a solution, although it may not be the outcome that was originally hoped for or expected. Number seven, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle says, my mind, he says, rebels at stagnation. Give me problems. Give me work. Give me the most abusive cryptogram or the most inaccurate an analysis, and I am in my own proper atmosphere. I can dispense then with articular simulates, stimulates, but I arbor the dull routine of existence. I crave for metal exaltation. 
That is why I have chosen my own particular profession, or rather created, for I am the only one in the world. Number eight, Linda Sue Park says, "At step at as time, one problem at a time. Just figure out this one problem." And last but not least, number six. Clarify the problem. Once you all review all the facts, you should see that your problem is bigger than simply getting your grades up. That's for students that are having trouble while trying to pass. If you know what I mean. Well, hopefully, all the kids out there and all the kids and youngsters get your grades up and keep doing what you're doing. Your life is pretty much out of control. You can't handle everything that which you committed yourself. Something has to give. So you see, when we have problem that is ahead of us, we don't want to be there as being a problem. No, absolutely not. No sir, we want to be part of the solution here. And let me tell you guys something about that. I remember one time that when I heard that someone said this word here, and it says something like this: When you are placed in a situation, there's a way to approach that situation. You either be you either be part of the problem, or you either or become part of the solution. Well. My opinion here is, I chose to be part of the solution because I see that everyone that goes through a tough time, I sometimes may give them their space, or I would try to talk some sense into them, and by doing so, I chose. I choose. I would choose to be part of the solution. That is the only way. That I want to become in this life, and I choose to become part of the solution, because being part of the solution is something that we all want to do in this life. Instead of being part of the problem, we all want to be part of the solution. Before I wrap this episode up, I would like to take this time to give you guys an advice that it's from the bottom of my heart. I would like to share this advice with all you. It is very important at the end of the day to to not let anything get in between what you have going on. All I can say is, don't be part of the problem. Be part of the solution, because that's all we want to be, and that is part of the solution. That's what we all want, and that's what we're gonna remain for a long time. So thank you guys for tuning in tonight. And like I said before, thank you for the five hundred. I appreciate it so much. Appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But it's not over yet. Let's keep growing. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Let's keep going up with this channel. Let's make it happen. So with that being said. Stay tuned for more episodes of DJ Talk. Stay positive. Hope you guys have a good night and have a pleasant day tomorrow. And let's start this new week the right way. Peace out.